and welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off we gained a quest from the leader of the Thieves Guild, Loxley, to rob a certain fellow by the name of Highwater. And, well, let's just say it didn't go so well, um, mainly because I had my whole party around. Um, which makes it quite impossible to solve this quest in a stealthy fashion. Um, so I had to reload last time because I inadvertently killed Ian. And so I had to re go through this conversation with Loxley again and I changed the distribution of the skills that in ensued from the level up. Um, I mean, which the points which we got for talking. So the experience, the skill points that we got in exchange for the experience points that we got by talking to Loxley. Ugh. Okay, so I distributed them like this. Um, I put, well, a fair number of these points into energy weapons, but the rest of them I invested into sneaking, um, which is now at 46%, which was, I think, before at 20 or 23%. In order to make the next task a little bit more easy, okay. The next thing that we want to do is we want to s tell our party, our party members, to stay here. Um, because they are unfortunately completely ill-suited for stealth missions. They will make it basically impossible to do that stealthily. Okay. Um, it's night, so we should be fine. We get immediately, uh, when entering this area of high waters um, place, um, yeah, we get told that we should leave this area immediately by one of his security guards. And we, of course, say that we are about to leave, um, which we, in fact, will not do. But we will we'll go into sneak mode and sneak our way around this building. Um, if you remember, last time we already entered this building and, well, Dogmeat had inadvertently killed the wife of Mr. Highwater and um, it was quite impossible to complete this mission without killing Mr. Highwater himself too. So we would have failed um, one of the objectives. I mean, we were told specifically not to Harm Mr. Highwater by the by Yasmin, one of the members of the Fierce Guild, because Mr. Highwater is, um, as they put it, one of their best customers. Or, well, he's not really a customer, but um, of course, this is meant in an ironic fashion. Okay, now this is. Um, We've entered this building without any resistance at all, so if you do this in a stealthy fashion, this whole mission is a lot easier. Now there's this locked strong box, and we know from um, our last attempt that there's a trap. So we need to apply our trap skill first. See, it says you find nothing while searching the strong box for traps. That is because our trap finding skill is extremely low, only 17%. So we have to do this... Uh, We have to do this. Um, I, also, I can switch this off now. Until we actually find the trap. Which could take a while. Um, ah, at least we found the, the trap now. Uh, but we failed to disarm. Yeah, and that's what can happen if you have a very low trap. Disarm skill. Uh, cancel. Sometimes when you try to disarm it, it blows up in your face. Um, when I did this off camera, when I tried this off camera, um, I actually succeeded in disarming the trap, but this time I didn't get lucky, unfortunately. So we've completed the quest now, and we can also close this box just for. I mean, 
if you want to be very uh, discreet, you would probably also close the box. Um, just in case the the fellow enters this room, so he you won't immediately recognize that someone has stolen his possessions. We of course wait until the guard arrives at his position, um, and then we wait until he has left this position in order to have the maximum time in order to, well, escape. Okay, now we can leave. I guess we could actually stop sneaking right now, but... Um, well... Why not sneak? I mean, if we can. Okay, and we're out of here. Uh, and that is the, yeah, the sole mission um, without any bloodshed. So, we, of course, you want to enter this area at night. Um, I haven't tried this during the daytime, but it's supposed to be more difficult. Um, and I think Mr. Highwater, maybe not in his um, bedroom by that time during daytime. Okay, now let's make sure that our party members will follow us again. Even though I... Hmm. I actually would like Tissue to leave, to be fair, because he's so unreliable. Okay, anyway, um... We should now get our reward from Mr. Loxley. Um, let's do this, in fact. Let's go to Loxley and get our reward. And then I think we need to sell off some of our loot. We definitely need to sell off some of the loot because um, we are almost at the maximum of our ca carrying capacity. And our um, companions are even above their carrying capacity. Which is interesting that this is even possible. Because you can't um, overload yourself as far as I can tell. Or the only way in which this could happen if you would receive an item as part of, a, of as part of an interaction with an NPC. Oh, how nice to see you again. Do you have a little something for me? Uh, yes, here's the necklace. By the way, um, you can actually steal the necklace back from him and sell it for some, I think, 500 bottle caps or so. <laughs> well done! Congratulations! You're now a member of the world-famous Thieves Circle. Let's get Jasmine over here and throw a topper, shall we? And, yeah, Jasmine will give you your reward. Um, somehow I don't trust characters whose uh, text is in whose character text is in uh, blood, bloody red. Okay, well done, lad. Well done, lad. Here's your reward. Jasmine gives you three thousand bottle caps. By the way, here's a little something extra to help you out in your future felonious forays. Just mean hands you a set of electronic lockpicks. Um, you see, electronic lockpick. It weighs two pounds. Um, can be used to disarm, to defeat electronic locks and security devices. Now I don't think we have yet seen an electronic lock, um, but we will probably, but we will probably in the future. Let us talk to Jasmine. Okay, we can't talk to her really. Let us talk to um, that girl. Hey, what's happening? Tell me about Loxley. A great leader. He's doing everything he can to screw over the right people and keep the hub together. For a small, small fee, of course. Tell me about the circle. It's both a job and an adventure. Helping the poor, risking your life, meeting new and interesting blokes. That's us, the good guys. Are you really the good guys? Um... I mean, I can see you, I see that you 
rob rich people, but are you really helping the poor? Tell me about Decker. I had a friend who worked for him once. When the assignment went bad, he ran back to Decker for reinforcements. Decker called him a fool and had him lobotom lobotomized as an example to the others. We don't like Decker very much around here. Oh. Tell me about uh, lobotomy. Tell me about the poor. Tell me about... Hmm. Tell me about justice. Doesn't ring a bell, does it? I'm not surprised. Okay. What do you know about the master? What do you know about mutants? What do you know about water merchants? Uh, you, know, you know nothing about Decker. What do you know about the thieves guild? Okay, what do you know about yourself? What do you know about Loxley? Okay, she doesn't know anything, okay. Fair enough. Maybe you can barter with her. She has a stamp bag, which she's, she actually is willing to sell. Have this new Coca Cola and this. Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I suppose that we could give you the 69 bottle caps. At least we've gotten rid of this new Coca Cola. Uh, hi. Let's talk to. Not to chair. Let's talk to Smitty. Hi yourself. Go blow smoke somewhere else. Hmm. Let us search the desk. The desk is empty. I hope they don't get mad at me for searching their bookshelves. Hmm. Okay, now we should um, get rid of some of our loot. Some of the things we've been carrying around for such a long time. Uh, we of course should wait until. Oh, we can't rest. In, can't rest in in old town. I don't understand this um, system really. You can't rest in some places. For instance, you can't rest in old town, but you can rest in the hub. Um, I'm supposed. Well, old town is. I mean, I get that Old Town is supposed to be sort of a dangerous place, so it makes sense, in some sense, that you, you can't sleep there, but yeah, somehow this is not so convincing. Okay, um, where are my companions? They are, okay, I don't know where Ian is going. Ah, I can't barter with you. I need to steal it from you. I need to steal it. Um, do we have any weapons that... Or anything that is really heavy and that... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use these rockets. Uh, but let us first... Okay, what is this? Is this... Ah... Okay, you can't can't examine things um, in the screen, unfortunately. Okay, these these gas tanks. I mean, we're, we're not using the flamethrower, and we can't pick them all up. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay, can I pick? Okay, this is going to be a bit. Uh, Awkward. Um, okay, let us get rid of some of the heavy things. I think we want to hold on to the shomet, well, not the shomet, cot, cot gun, the combat shotgun, because it's very effective. Um, let's sell this. Um, 
Then I'll sell, um, hmm. Well, we don't need the lighter, but it's, okay. Hmm. What do I want to get rid of? Hmm. Actually, there's nothing that I really want to get rid of here. Maybe these flares. Hmm. Okay, uh, give me some bottle caps, please. Okay, that's a good trade. Um, bye. And when we will come back, folks, I will have sorted out this um, trading business a bit and then we will probably go to the El Iboniard next. Where we might get some new cool armor. Or maybe not. So until next time, folks, until then.